Woo! Continue to rolling on, rolling on, rolling on, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL here on this hot, I mean, H-A-W-T, hot uh, Thursday. People keep asking me, Slitter, why you keep wearing the, uh, the hoodie sports thing when it's so damn hot out here? Well, it's because I'm hot. You know, when you look this good, you gotta be supporting it and strolling it and showing it. And hey, I'm a champ, so... This is champ merchandise. I'm also just used to wearing it. Now, if it was like 150, obviously not. Or if it was unbearable, obviously I would not. But it's not too too hot when I get out, either in the morning or when I get out of work. So, or, or just, I'll take off if I need to. Anyway, I've stopped babbling. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the notification bell. Share it to all your media outlets. The button is there. Congrats, Duke Bothers, on your 1K. Welcome back, Shurnet. Shurnet has returned to the YouTuber uh, world, uh, the YouTube. -y. I had a good stream last night. Uh, I do plan on throwing a stream tonight, probably around eight. Between probably starting around eight thirty or so, between eight and eight thirty. Just just uh, stay tuned for the notification. It's going to be an open panel stream, no drama. Obviously, it's a lot of fun. You can drink beer. Uh, I'm going to play some music. Going to do my vocal skills. Yoda yoda le. You know my skills. Excuse me. And uh, talk sports. Talk whatever topics. Probably not politics. I'm not into the politics thing. But just have some fun on a Thursday night because I am off Friday. Finally get an off day. Uh, finishing out the week. And then one more week uh, of work. And then my third vacation of six weeks will be next week. But it'll be a staycation. So I will be home. So I'm uh, going to try to do some things uh, and everything. So let me know. Got to take care of the doggy dog uh, this time. I love the dog. He's a cute little thing. Cannot wait to spend time with him again. It's been a while. Um, but also, in every uh, donate, it's, it's going to be a donation stream. Actually, it's going to be like the one I did last week. Uh, all donations, please, guys. Let's help my friend, my, my late friend's family out, Marie. Any donations that you could spare. Still no donations as of, I think it was Saturday. I think it was the last donation I got. I think. Uh, please, guys. Uh, let's. Open up your hearts to my to my friends' family. As far as off YouTube, I did get some donations from some of my fellow co-workers and stuff and past co-workers. Thank you very much. It's at 105 this go-round. It's at 405 total. And my next YouTube check will be going to Marie's family. So open up your hearts, guys. Come on. I know I know we can do better than this. Uh, but thanks, everybody, who has donated and, and said prayers and kind words. How about them Braves, y'all? Uh, again, I'm not like other people. I'm not going to come on and bragging, but I am feeling pretty good about the, ch the champs uh, turning around. They were 23 and 27 uh, late May, whatever it was, and all of a sudden, 15 games over 500. The only series I think we haven't won was one we let get away against the Dodgers when we lost two of three when Kenley Jansen blew that Sunday night game. Uh, but, I mean, it happens. It just wasn't meant to be. But the Braves are doing what, what they need to do. The Mets came back. And beat the Cincinnati Reds. So we remain two and a half games behind the New York Mets for the National League East for our division uh, championship lead. We won it four straight times. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but, you know, we deserve, we're accustomed to being on the top. And, and being second place is not acceptable. Might be acceptable in Philly because God knows they haven't done anything. They're, they're celebrating third place in a possible home run derby title. Just like outside looking in, actually right on the cusp, right there, right there on, right there on the tip. The edge of the cliff on the third wild card spot. Yay! Well, we have bigger important things here in Atlanta to worry about. And that's a World Series championship and taking our division back at the same time. So, you know, you guys can just flutter down there. They, they lost to the Nationals. Again, the only reason why I talk smack is because of one certain individual. If he ever shut the hell up, which I doubt, then I will not mention it again. I keep telling him that, but he don't listen. So as long as he keeps running his mouth, I'm going to keep running mine. Uh, but the Braves... I said going into the series, I'd like at least a split, maybe three. Well, the Braves have already done that. They got the split, and then they got the series win yesterday, winning three to nothing over the Cardinals. Welcome back, Eddie Rosario, MVP. Uh, Rosario hitting a homer. Marcelo Zuna hitting a homer. is 17th. Rosario's first. People can say what they want about Marcelo Zuna's defense. Granted, he's not the most fleet-footed out there. He looks like he's lost in ballerina shoes. Just, I don't know what the hell he does in deep. Unless it's a straight ball, he just looks comical in the outfield. I I, I would prefer Marcelo Zuna to be a DH and keep his bat in the lineup. 
Um, so I, I, I don't know if he was a DH last night. He might have been. Let me know. I was working, you know, make ha have a life. So I wasn't able to spend time watching uh, the game. Although I could have watched the game. I actually got out before it started, but I was peeking at it. I was doing some things. Uh, but uh, his bat, he's a hit or miss guy, but he's electric in the clubhouse. He's animated and he can get hits. So, you know, for those who want to knock Marcelo Zuna's defense or swinging at everything that's thrown up at the plate, when he's on, he's on, man. He's the kind of guy that you want in your lineup. I wish he would, I wish he would make a little more contact, though. I do at times, but uh, just keep him DH. But great to see Eddie Rosario come back with the home run. That was a bomb to right field. I think the Braves are second in the majors in home run, first in the National League at homers. Braves have a chance to have a lot of guys rep in the All-Star game. I will be streaming that on, what, not this coming Tuesday, but next Tuesday. I think it's the 15th, hold on, 15th, 16th, 17th, 19th of July. I will be streaming the National uh, versus American League All-Star Game, and God, can we get a win? National League hasn't won in, I don't know how many years, eight, nine years, ten years, whatever. But the Braves got a chance to go for a four-game sweep with Spencer Strider on the mound tonight. Uh, do I expect it? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm very confident with my team. Obviously, we're we're playing the way that, that we should have come out of the gate with. Um, but I'm still to one of those that, you know, doesn't like to look too far ahead and everything and try to take things game by game. I'll let everybody else on Twitter run their mouth about bragging and all that in the news media. I don't do that unless I have a reason to. Right now, I still don't have a reason to. We're not in first place. Okay, we're creeping up there, but we're not in first. We haven't won it. Let's just say the Braves take over first place. I might take a few jabs, but unless we are division champs at the end of the season, it doesn't matter to me. Ultimately, what I want, however, is another ring. I, I want to defend this World Series championship. And, you know, the Braves... Well, obviously, we'll make some moves, a few minor moves during the deadline. Obviously, I'm anxious to see. I still think Jorge Soler might come back, you know, maybe get a Joey Votto or I don't know. It, it could be very interesting. A guy from Pittsburgh, uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what it comes down to stretch. I think we still need to maybe add a piece to the bullpen, even though the bullpen is really good. There's just something about this bullpen this year that I'm not 100% sold on, you know, just not not feeling it. You know, I'm very I'm very confident in the bullpen, but... Something's missing. I don't know what it is. You know, I don't know what it is. But, the, you know, the, we're finding ways to still get wins and close games out. But Will Smith, for God's sakes, can you stop giving us an aneurysm and a heart attack? My dude, stop putting runners on base, man. Uh, somebody said it on Twitter. I want the Will Smith of the playoffs last year where he just blitzed through in the NLDS and NLCS and World Series. You know, right now we got the same Will Smith during the regular season. You know, he, he, he allows hits, walks high pitch counts, and then he buckles up. But you don't have to make it that difficult, honestly. Well, enough being an Atlanta sports fan. You know, we're starting to get ourselves out of out of the doldrum of being an Atlanta sports fan. But, you know, I don't know how much more. You know, we, we don't need to go back, revert back to the old ways. But uh, I can't complain with the way the Braves are playing. 21 wins in June, 5-1 and one so far in July. At one point, keep in mind, y'all, the Braves were 23-27. and 27. Ten and a half games behind the Mets, and they were running their mouth. So was the Foolies fans. We were actually in third place at one point. Just saying. Look at the standings now. We're like two games up on the top wild card spot. Um, you know, so we need to maintain that spot for sure. Because I think out of the wild card, I think the the last two teams, there's three wild card spots. I think the then the top wild card is the only one that actually has a series. I think the other two play in a one game playoff. You definitely don't want to be in a one game playoff. Um, in everything, and they're battling it out. That's a big series coming up over the weekend. Phillies at Cardinals. Go Cardinals, obviously. You know, you know, just finish losing. Hopefully, y'all lose tonight, and y'all take it out on on Philadelphia over the weekend in St. Louis and Bush Memorial. Uh, but the Braves got the one more game with the Cardinals, and the Nationals come to town over the weekend. Not a team to take for granted either, because they are a major league ball club. But the Braves should be able to win that series. But you never know. And then the New York Metropolitans come to town next week. Hopefully I can stream one game. I think all my shifts are pretty much where I get out uh, five or six, something like that, and then everything. So I might be able to stream one game, maybe two. We shall see how that goes. But thanks everybody for you know supporting my stream. I've had I've, I've always had a blast doing what I'm doing. Keep those donations coming in from Marie's family, please, y'all. I'm I'm I don't I don't ask or, or beg a lot, but they need help, man. You know they need more than 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 what I'm giving. You know four hundred five dollars. 
My, my YouTube check will make it over five. So that's great. But they need more than that. They need to get their family here, lay Marie to rest the right way, and, and say goodbye properly and everything. So please open up your hearts and your wallets. Uh, please, Cash App, PayPal, we all know everything that I do through July 15th will go towards her. And if there's any questions on the validity, just go watch a couple videos prior. Please, thank you very much. Marie, I'm trying, sweetheart. I'm trying to do what you were doing, and that is work hard for your family. I'm doing what I can, sweetheart. So anyways, y'all, have a great Thursday. Be safe. Be humble. Enjoy it. Don't take things for granted. And uh, yeah, go Braves. Sports Live in the ATL. I'll see you in the next one.